friends. I'm going to tell you in a minute here about the weed of the week, which is not weed. It's one that um, maybe isn't so commonly known as a weed to eat or use or an herb, but it's a very powerful digestive herb and I have been using it to help my body de-stress in the last month. I had a lot of stress, a lot of different things, a lot of different reasons, um, but the body still feels it no matter how you cut it. So I have been leaning very heavily into my daily habits of movement and my cold water swims, doing self-massage, so doing a lot of just giving myself some love to deal with the stress. And eating my weeds more. The other really powerful thing is gratitude. I've been really leaning into that habit. Gratitude is the thing that connects you to the divine. Worry is all about what I can do or can't do, or how things are affecting me, or gonna affect me, or when you start worrying, pay attention to the messages you hear in your head. Most of them center around me, I, my capabilities, my limitations, my circumstances, and so on. As soon as you start being grateful, you've tapped into abundance. You've tapped into life, life, abundant life. That's what we're here for. And that's what the universe wants for you. That's what God wants for you even more than you do. And gratitude is the key to unlocking that. So one of the things I'm super grateful for right now as my gallbladder and my liver have struggled to keep up with the stress that I've experienced um, is not weed. This great little weed. I'm going to try and show it to you here in its native habitat. Um, it's this one right here. You can see how it, it has these pink kind of flowers, long leaf, and it kind of looks like it has joints where the leaves come off the stem, like little knots, little knots. This weed is wild buckwheat. So if you let these seeds go and then you harvested them, you would have a very, very nutrient-dense form of buckwheat, which can be very helpful. All the seeds, grains, that's what they're for. All the life is stored in there. Knotweed is very good for your digestion, as are all these weeds. It has a stringent and bitter taste to it. So it can be a little potent tasting, but what that does is help draw toxins. So it helps actually get rid of parasites, which everybody has. Don't freak out about it. But weeds help, and that weed in particular helps your body purge those and get rid of them helps increase bile, which supports liver or uh, gallbladder cleansing, helps uh, dissolve kidney stones. That's part of that astringent and bitter properties is it helps those organs to squeeze down and mm -hmm. cleanse so that they can function properly to filter and digest and do all the things that you gotta do. Super high in vitamin E, so it helps support all of your skin tissues, which your digestive tract is a skin. It's internal, but it's a skin. So knotweed helps support your digestion from start to finish. Also helps support your lungs and your mucous membranes. Those astringent qualities and the bitter qualities, but especially the astringent, help squeeze everything down. So it helps expel mucus. So think allergies, um, that kind of thing. It'll help support, help your body deal with, get rid of all that excess mucus and all those irritants. So that's just a little bit of my friend Knotweed. 
and those are parts of why I'm using it to support those organs that are being stressed, that are feeling the stress energy in them and holding on to things, help them clean out. Also helping with allergies right now. It's a thing. So, Natweed to the rescue. I'm going to go put it in my smoothie. Have a great and abundant day.